Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So slightly different video today. Um, we are going to be looking at a article that IGN posted. Um, Star Wars Jedi Survivor meet eight of Cal's enemies. Um, and I really, really want to look at this, but I want to experience it with you guys first because I'm really excited to see um, what like the enemies are going to be. We've seen some of them in the gameplay that we saw, but I would like to see if there's going to be anything different or what we're going to see. So let's let's look at this. All right, so let's, 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 let's look at this. So, good action game lives and dies by the strength of its combat. True, but combat mechanics are just one part of the equation. Equally important are the enemies that put those combat mechanics to the test. So, the enemies of Jedi Survivor. Ooh, 11 images. Okay, okay, we'll scroll down first and then we'll go through. I assume the images are as we go down, so. Um, droids. Holy shit, look how cool this is. Look at the- <gasps> We do have droidicas! Holy shit, I said- Oh god, yeah, it's literally behind my camera. I literally said, while I was watching the gameplay, I was like, holy shit, I really hope that we get droidicas. Like, that would be really cool. Um, and here we are, we have droidicas. Dude, look how fucking cool these guys look. Holy shit. Wow, I love their colors as well. Their colors are so cool. Look at the Roger Rogers, that's awesome. Uh, how do I go back? How, how, how do I- how do I go back? Hello? Uh, well, I broke it. Okay, so we've- uh, from the weak fodder like Roger Rogers. See? See? There are tons of droids to fight in against Jedi Survivor. Um, droids give the team much more freedom when it comes to what they can- what they can do and what types of weapons they're able to use. That- that's- that makes sense. So we've got B1 droids, we've got a Roger Rogers. Uh, cover the role of fodder enemy archetype on the planet Kobo. Uh, they're as weak as can be. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, can still be a dangerous threat thanks to their range and their tendency for hitting Cal while they're off screen, of course. Their banter is hilarious. Respawn is up their game in Jedi Survivor when it comes to amusing enemy conversations. So while it may be tempting to just wipe them out in a single force push, that is very tempting. Exercise some restraint for a few moments to let the dialogue play out. See, that is what I was looking forward to. I did also say that in my reaction video. I said that, you know, I'm looking forward to see the dialogue that we get from the battle droids because I love everything that they do and say. So I'm really glad that we get a little bit extra of that in the game and that they've specified that. So that's really cool. We got our B2 droids. Um... B2 droids are the bruisers of the droid family. They take fair amount of hits to bring down and can pack a heavy melee punch while also being armed with both a blaster and a missile launcher. Fuck yeah. I mean, not so much for when I die, but also fuck yeah because it's cool. Certainly no pushover, but fall in this really nice spot where once you learn to time parries on their melee attacks, reflect their blaster shots and always be on the lookout to force pull their missiles, they become much less of a threat. Hell yeah. Okay, BX droids. These guys scare me so fucking much. Not, not like they the the way they run, how like flexible and agile they are. They terrify me. They actually terrify me. BX droids are among the more agile droids and will surely put your melee combat skills to the test. They will regularly parry your attacks, so they parry me. Okay, execute mini multi hitting spin techniques while also leaping around the battlefield and being an elusive target. These droids have been canonically been shown to use vibro swords and go up against jedi which according to the team really gave them a perfect mid-level enemy hell yeah droidicus droidicus um i wonder how we're gonna get to destroy their shields you may know them more col col that's a big word that i don't know as destroyer droids or those rolling droids from the pre prequels but they're actually called droidicus they didn't get a chance to I didn't get a chance to face off against these in my own playtime, but from what I was told, uh, fans should expect them to behave as you'd expect from the movies and shows. They've got the bubble shield. Um, they they roll and they actually incorporate that into their melee. So you can't just stun lock it forever. Damn, that's going to be hard. IG-100 Magna Guard. Dude, they look fucking cool. They look cool. I don't recognize the name or these. Um... I don't know what they're from. Oh, okay. So the IG-100 Magna Guards are highly formidable enemies that anyone who's a big fan of the Clone Wars series should immediately recognize. I'm a big fan. I didn't recognize them. I need to Google this because I forget where they're from. Okay, so ignore the fact that there's no dark mode. I'm currently using um, Microsoft Edge because it doesn't have all my tabs and stuff at the top. I do not recognize. I do not remember these guys at all. I don't remember them. They kind of, okay, so 
they're from the movie. They kind of their their staffs kind of look like purge trooper staffs. Um, but yeah, I guess I they look fucking cool, so I'm excited. Uh, these are General Grievous's elite bodyguards, and as such, they're highly skilled melee warriors and give a Jedi a run for their money. Super elite type of enemy, offensive, defensive, counter you, and attack in weird rhythms. Well, that's gonna be fun. Shield Trooper, look at him, look at his little helmet. I love the Scout Trooper helmet, it makes me so happy. Um, Shield Trooper was born from a simple need. Uh, the team wanted a Scout Trooper that survived a little bit longer. But as with just about any and every enemy in Jedi Survivor, there are several ways to bring them down. You could hack away at their shields. Um, that would make you vulnerable to the other enemies surrounding you. Try and maneuver around it and slash its back. But they're pretty good at tracking you. And you'd have to find some way to distract them. The ideal way to deal with them, hold down your force pull, yank their shield away, and Captain America right back at them. Dude, that's fucking cool. That's... Oh, I'm so excited for this game. So excited. Whoa, holy fuck. I, oh my god. This is terrifying. I do not want to go against this guy. I, I'm, I'm done. I don't want to go against him. He's terrifying. DT sentry droid. The imp impetus? Imp imp I don't, I, I, listen, I'm dumb. Okay. Um, <laughs> neurodivergent life. My brain doesn't work. For the DT sentry droid was that the team needed a big brute enemy. And so Respawn turned to Star Wars Rebels and found this guy. One of the things that was really appealing about the sentry droid as an enemy was that they could have different loadouts. So there are three variations of this enemy. One might have a staff and a missile, another might have a hammer, and another might come equipped with a blaster. Damn! Rebels and Bad Batch should understand... Uh, or sorry, fans of Rebels and Bad Batch should understand how menacing these droids are. And the first moment you encounter them will be a real oh shit kind of moment. Yeah! Honestly, yeah. It's terrifying. I hate them. Um, KX security droid enforcer. Oh my god. These guys look even tougher than the ones in Fallen Order. Like, this guy looks even tougher. The other ones just tried to fucking grab you for a little hug. These guys look like I have a weapon. Um, and that's kind of terrifying. I wonder if, like, the pack on the back of them, like, I don't know if that maybe sets them on fire or blows up. I'm not really sure. I don't know what it is exactly. Um... KX security droid enforcer appeared in Fallen Order famously as that droid likes to grab and choke slam you. This particular variant will not be doing any choke slams as they now come equipped with a stun button, uh, the weapon of the scout troopers. So the story behind that is these droids were used as trainers of the scout troopers and thus are basically three times as dangerous as a scout trooper would be. Wonderful! Oh my god, this is, this is, this is terrifying. This is but a small sample size of the enemies the players can expect to encounter over the course of their journey in Star Wars Survivor. There are still all sorts of hostile wildlife you'll encounter on the various planets, plus imperialists and other human factions like the Bedlam Raiders found on Kobo. It's also a small part of our continuing coverage for jo Jedi Survivors, so keep checking IGN throughout the month of February. Hell yeah, and you know what? I'm gonna cover all of it. I'm gonna cover every single piece of media that they release, whether it's a video, whether it's an article, I don't care. I would like to cover all of it because I am very, very, very excited for this game. So yeah, these are all really cool images. Um, which am I most excited about? Probably the battle droid, or the B1 droids, because... I'm just excited for the dialogue. I am so excited for the humor and I can't wait to like say something on stream and then they'll accidentally talk back to me because I've had that happen before. I'll say something out loud and then Cal will accidentally respond to me. Sit a balls! Whoa, strong words coming from you. Because it just fits really well. So I'm excited for that to happen with these droids. Um... And I, I want to hear what they say to each other as well. I think it's going to be very interesting. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know this is a very different video than normal, but I hope you enjoyed. And let me know which of these is your favorite, which you're most excited or least excited to uh, fight against. So yeah, thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. So peace and may the force be with you.